Allo Creative. This is Munya Scripts from Munya Scripts Lifestyle and Gary Films Production. I'm here to share with you and today we are going to be basically looking at uh, data analytics. So what is data analytics? Where do you find it? And how does it help us as creatives? And how does it help us as content creators, whether you are a musician, whether you are someone who is basically doing content marketing for different artists, how do you like utilize the data analytics and it helps you market to the people that you want to market to and how do you utilize it? So I will start with saying that in the digital age, okay, in this digital age, with the dozens of platforms and hundreds of promotional channels accessible to content creators and musicians at large okay so there are millions i would say that there are millions and thousands of ways to grow your music career or your content creating creation career okay that should be in your mind that there are thousands of ways to do it to see that at least you get to people so what should you get worried of so what you should get worried of is basically you configuring out which mediums and channels you should focus on okay because if we are to look at different mediums where we can promote our content or get our content to people they are those platforms that i happen to create that is latest ug music dot online there is latest ug music dot com there is facebook there is youtube there is instagram there is tidal there is tunecore uh, no there is tidal there is uh, deza there is okay are you getting it so it is basically what do you want and how can you utilize that platform to see that at least you get to the right people that you want to do what to get to okay so in another thing that i would say in music it is all too common okay it is too common to find that uh let me say it is too common in music to take the same route with career development and replicating what others do okay you should note that that it is easy for you to replicate let me say um i'm munya scripts so someone can come up and is imitating me he's doing everything as i do it to get a quicker like quicker audience maybe to also get like to the ears of people without struggling because he's imitating someone who is already what existing but that won't help you keep longer or it it is like looking safe but that does not win the race okay it won't help you win the race it will keep you there but it won't help you win the race so increasingly so increasingly what separates the pros okay so what is going to separate you as a pro from the amateurs and what will separate you or will make you different you being a go-getter or someone who is uh, left behind okay is you knowing how to use data analytics okay so it will separate you from someone who is an amateur and someone who is a pro it will help you become a pro or it will get you because you can't like analyze it you can't read it then you will remain an amateur so with data analytics it does that so then the other thing we would look at is why music professionals should come should become data driven one with data because i'm like creating content i want to see uh like people in this country following me up are people in this country watching my stuff are people maybe in a certain area watching my content so it is rather better to base on my tools that is data analytics because with people if i happen to pick a person like like uh, to do for me marketing and i just listen to that person that this uh, uh maybe is telling me this country is listening to your music maybe this area more people are basically watching more of your content and he has no proof 
okay? It is just a word of mouth. Then that isn't right. Because your, your money may be consumed and you're marketing in the wrong places. People are not picking it. Like people are not picking up your content. So you should be able to analyze data, analyze numbers. Okay? Because if you happen to market it on the radio station, how would you like explain to someone that a lot of people maybe are watching me like you have nothing to count like no re any reflection of how many people are basically listening to your content how many people are basically watching your content so back here so uh, why musicians or content creators or professionals should become data driven one with data because i've given you the first reason so with data analytics you won't be deceived okay so you should be able to read the numbers read anything to do with the data okay analytics then with so much competition okay with so much competition yet so many opportunities that is true so we have a lot of competition within the creative industry within music within anything to do with creating content there is a lot of op uh, competition but again there are a lot of what opportunities so professionals need to stay ahead of the curves so okay you don't need to be swept off okay experiment with new ideas adapt and evolve rapidly so don't be rigid okay the key to doing this successfully is having the right data when you test out a new approach so you can configure out what does and doesn't work out. Okay, so you don't have to be rigid. So if today you happen to use Facebook and your marketing people are like not getting your content, so you are not picking up, then you have to switch. Use YouTube, use Google. Okay, so those are all mediums of you seeing that at least you get to people but you should be able to analyze okay and see what is working because with different people or different content creators have become like winners on different mediums so you may find that this one is more with a bigger audience on youtube and you find the other one of a bigger audience on tiktok or you find the other one with a bigger audience on another platform so don't be rigid so if this does not work out that is not yours look for another medium that you can squeeze better and you can yield in better results then let me give you some of the ways music data can help professionals or content data that is the analytics data can help professionals make decisions okay one is identifying local potential for for the what for the artist growth let me say yeah you get to notice because the importance of you being able to read data is to know where it is working out and where it isn't working out where you need more effort and where you like it is more easier okay and to know which platforms are like in that area are winning you more more people okay so one of them is you identifying the local potential of artists uh, of the uh, artistic growth for example music data provides a critical insight into an artist's performance in local markets and highlights on local opportunities if you know how to track the data okay so for example it's say for example let's say you make up to the news that your latest single has gone viral on youtube in india okay then it is suddenly then suddenly your song spreads across india airwaves and in a couple of weeks it is in the top 50 on the local digital charts so with that at least you may get to know that when i happen to be making a, uh, a show okay when i happen to be making a show over moving around sporting areas where you should stage up your shows 
it means that you wouldn't leave out India. But that is got after you analyzing your data. That your song has gone viral, maybe in India, maybe somewhere in a certain area. So that is the importance of what? Of the analytics. Then access the artist pro, pro access the artist proportional then access the artist promotional strategy so it gives you a strategy on how to like market your content that is what i started with uh, for example every artist and musician career is unique so there is no one size fits all approach to finding an audience so that is what basically i started with that you may find that for you you are going to make it through youtube you may find that someone came on to scene uh, on tiktok or twitter or somewhere else so there is no fit uh, approach that for every artist to make it throughout or for every artist to make it into the music industry he should use youtube or he should use uh, reverb nation so you should consider that you should try different platforms not even trying but you find a platform where you can perform best okay and where you meet most of your audience then uh, the third one is uh, using data to back up your pitch okay so if at all you are looking for maybe endorsements and besides endorsements people to like sponsor up your program or your talent or your content it means that you would need this data to show them how many people do you have how many fans do you have what is your fan base 